Yo guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm Daniel Ginaldi and today I got a little education video for you guys because you know I've just been giving you guys behind the scenes of my football journey, you know, release the journey of a professional footballer. But now I'm trying to obviously give you guys an insight, obviously, to who I am beyond football and how my uni work is going and everything. So today I've got a little sit down video for you guys to just show you how my first year of uni has been as a professional footballer. So I've been trying to like make content about how I obviously balance football and education, but I'm not trying to make some boring videos of you guys watching me do some like uni work revising and that, that might not be entertaining. So obviously I wanted to wait until the end of the year where I got my results obviously and just have a reflection back on how I balanced it whilst obviously going training, going on trial during the release journey, like when I was at Barnsley and everything. So I obviously created this YouTube channel to obviously be that role model for young footballers who obviously they might want to go uni or do edu continue with their education. So I wanted to, um, I wanted to be like the point of reference to show that it's possible to obviously be successful both on the pitch in my football and both in university. So that's why I'm obviously doing this video. So just to give you guys an insight into my first year of uni, like I can't lie, it was tough. It's hard work. Like I can't even joke about that. Like every day coming home after you know training, gym coming back home like it's easy to obviously slack it off but I was just looking forward to the end result and just setting myself up for my future and having that identity beyond football so that's why I just stayed disciplined and made sure I stayed on top of my work but literally I can't lie to you guys it wasn't all rosy so at the start I failed like one of my assignments I wasn't doing too well because obviously you know getting used to the process and keeping on top of the work but thankfully like as it went on, I got better at it and I was able to manage my time, speak to my tutors and it, it got, um, I got better. So even when I was, over my first year being a professional footballer at West Ham, like, even though I've said previously that like, it's been tough, obviously, tough past couple months, past years, obviously first year of being a professional, but having my uni course, something to like fall back on when I wasn't really getting the opportunities and playing games, it really helped me at the end of the day. Like, it was some, something else to focus on. Like it's obviously what I'm, I've been emphasizing through the Beyond Football podcast. And it just gave me a release away from football, which actually helped me a lot. And not helped me not to fall into like a state of obviously like just sadness and just like um, feeling sorry for myself because I'm not playing and everything. So I really recommend obviously you guys to, if you have a passion for education or to go uni, I recommend it because it's possible to do that. Like, so I want to be that example that it's possible. So now at the end of my first year, thankfully I've come out with a first class degree in my psychology. So literally this is just the first year, but I just want to show that it just shows through my results that me balancing being a professional and the uni work that it's possible to obviously be successful in both. So you guys have now a reference of me. So how, how did I get that first class? Well, I've emphasized it through my previous videos. The three main things I said that we need to stick by. So number one I said was just being disciplined. So every time I came home from training, from games, or you know, I'm not playing, I could have obviously slacked it off and just felt sorry for myself. Just being disciplined to get that work done, my time management, setting aside time for time so that I can, you know, get my work done, my assignments done, and then finally being proactive. So being proactive in the sense of obviously contacting my tutors when I don't understand stuff, like when I filled my assignment, I had to obviously have meetings with my tutors and go over it and see how I can improve on. And as a footballer, obviously this first year, like I realized that we have loads of time in the evenings and afternoons to get all my work done. So throughout this first year of obviously being at uni, I haven't really had, it hasn't really been a stress where I've, you know, overworked myself or it has hindered my football or anything like it's just been a really good balance like something away from football and just having that identity beyond the game of football yeah so i've been getting a lot of comments obviously from 
younger footballers who said they want to obviously follow in my footsteps and like continue doing education and like how it works and everything. So like literally how it works, uh, all my all my work is online. So I literally do all my work from my laptop and there's, I don't need to go into the university or anything. I have my assignments online, my online assessments online. So that's literally how it works. So I had the questions of obviously how, like since I've moved up to Barnsley now, how am I gonna continue doing uni and everything? And literally nothing has changed. So I, I studied psychology by distance learning with the University of East London, which is really good for footballers like me. So you don't really have to worry about going in because it's all online. So. Obviously, if you guys want more detail, just obviously comment down below and I can obviously give you more information. So right now, through up in Barnsley, I'm continuing just getting ready for my second year of uni now. But if you guys have any questions, just let me know. But yeah, like, I'm just gonna end the video like that. So I just want this video to be a reference for obviously other footballers, other athletes, or like young players that want to obviously continue you with uni or want to go down that path i just want to be that role model to show you guys that it's possible to be successful in both like come on man <laughs> i've done i've my first year of being a professional footballer as well as you know doing psychology as a uni come out as a first class so that's it man if i can do it you guys can do it also if you guys want more tips or any more like information of how i've done it or anything just keep on that commenting Make sure you guys continue watching the released journey of a professional football series. And yeah, thank you guys for all the support and everything. We out, man. <laughs> <laughs>